What is up guys? Welcome back to my channel. It's Saray Karen and for today's video, I am going to be talking to you guys about Apple's new software, iOS 14.5 and why I believe you guys should definitely download it. Let's get to the video. I did do a poll over on my YouTube in the community tab. I asked you guys how many of you are even aware that iOS 14.5 was out and I want to say that 50% of you or so weren't even aware that it was out. 49% of you guys did even download it and I am going to tell you guys right now that you guys should definitely go and download this software update for this one feature and one feature alone and I'm not even going to make you wait to the end of the video for it. I'm going to tell you that is Apple's privacy tracking feature. Now with this software update, Apple really ruffled some feathers, that being of Facebook, because Apple now requires apps to ask your permission if you want them to be able to track you across different websites and companies. Now that is something huge. A lot of advertisers really are rely on this information so that they can advertise to you on Facebook or Instagram and things like that. So of course Facebook is going to be the loudest voice against Apple with this new feature but this is the main reason I'm telling you guys to download this update because you definitely want to protect yourself you don't want to be cross-tracked through apps so that advertisers can advertise to you more uh, I definitely feel that this is a safety concern that you know it should be in the consumers hand so for that reason and that reason alone you guys should definitely go down and download iOS 14.5 now I am going to get into the bug fixes that were addressed with this update update. Uh, a lot of Apple users were experiencing a green tint issue on their display. I did not experience that issue, but if you guys are definitely, again, download the update and you should not experience that anymore. Another issue that a lot of people were experiencing was battery life. I personally experienced this. I don't know what it was with that previous software model, but my battery was dying significantly. Um, if you guys watched my previous video, Video about my favorite crypto apps I have those apps open pretty much all the time I'm constantly checking them opening and closing them going to Voyager going to Celsius and I'm on Twitter I'm just on my phone a lot but I don't believe it should have been dying as fast as it was so if you guys were experiencing battery issues definitely do the update I have seen a significant improvement in my battery since downloading the update so I'm gonna say you guys you already know what to do the last bug that Apple addressed um, um, I thought it was something weird. I didn't even know this was an issue. A lot of users were experiencing Wi-Fi connectivity issues. So again, if that is something that you are experiencing, um, this is going to be able to address it and fix that issue. You should always reset your router and check your router and your home internet if you are experiencing Wi-Fi connectivity issues. But there was a large amount of people that already did these steps and still had that issue. So I'm happy that it was addressed with this update. Now those are the bug fixes. Now let's get to some updates in the features. First and the coolest feature that I think is it has to do with your Apple Watch and your iPhone and wearing a mask. Now with this update, you do have the ability to unlock your iPhone if you are wearing your Apple Watch and your Apple Watch has a passcode lock. So you don't even have to take off your mask. All you have to do is pretty much use your Apple Watch and then your iPhone will be unlocked. I think that is so cool. I know it took Apple some time to roll this feature out, but it's a big one you no longer have to take off your mask. This was the first thing that I noticed and honestly this is something that I really don't like and it was an update to the Maps app. Apple did implement software updates that are trying to make maps more like Waze. So now you have the ability to alert when there is a speed trap, you have the ability to alert when there is a hazard in the road, and you also have the ability to update your trip with different stops. So I really like that and I mean on paper it sounds good but I do not like the user interface but I just feel like it kind of looks clunky it kind of looks like when they gave 
Apple Music, that big refresh, and the tiles just looked out of place. But other than that, the Maps app did get a refresh. And uh, if you guys like Waze, then you're definitely going to like these updates within the Maps app. The next feature update was going to be to emojis. So many people love emojis. So many people love updating emojis. So with this iOS 14.5 update, you got, I believe, a heart with flames on it, you got a syringe, and you got a different type of smiley face. Um, I will put those on the screen or I'm probably showing it to you guys right now. But yeah, so you did get some emoji updates. So that's really cool. Another thing for all of my music aficionados like myself, you do have the ability to set your preferred music streaming platform. So if you use Apple Music, if you use Spotify like myself, you do have the ability to say, hey Siri, and Siri will detect which app you're using the most. And that app will later become your preferred music streaming app. So if you guys go back between Spotify and Apple like I do, uh, this feature isn't really that big of a deal. But if you do like one versus the other, you have the ability to set a default. Now within the Find My tab, Apple did add a little area for the items. And that is going Going to be for your air tags now if you guys have one air tag or you have multiple air tags this little tab within the find my app is going to house all of your devices that are attached to an air tag this items tab within the find my app is also going to work with new models of these headphones that have either the w1 or the h1 chip so i don't know how you guys are going to put an air tag on your beats but if you wanted to do that uh you will be able to locate them if missing within the find my application and that is a really cool update of course apple would throw that in there with the release of the air tags that is it for all of the features and bugs and the most important updates with ios 14.5 i can dive even deeper and show you guys into the software things that you can change especially if you guys want an in-depth explanation of that tracking feature let me know in the comments like i said at the beginning of the video i will make a part two to this video if you guys are interested and i definitely want to say a huge thank you to all of my new subscribers i want to say welcome back to all of my og subscribers and don't forget to hit that like and subscribe button again i will see you guys in the next video peace